phonics. So our first list of spelling words, you guys should have been practicing all week, even though we're not having a spelling test. Um, next week, for next week's spelling words, we will probably do a Google form and you will come up with sentences or figure out the correct spelling or a mixture of um, questions that has to do with the spelling words, okay? So this week, just look over these words and make sure you understand how to spell them and say them and read them, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and move into our first lesson um, or to our lesson number nine. Go ahead and get out your high frequency word practice page. And before we get to that, we are going to start from the bottom today. And so go ahead and repeat after me with the sight words. You, who, where, what, was, to, tomorrow, together, today, to, they, the, some, said, one, of, love, into, have, from, four, eight, do, come, are. Okay, so here are our um, picture cards. And we're going to go ahead and write these down as we say them on our worksheets. So let's share the screen. Okay. Echo after me, box. And then write the letter down that makes that sound. Zebra, zzz. Yarn, y. Wagon, w. Vest, zzz. Tent, Sun, rabbit, er, pig, t. nest, n, monkey, m. Mm. Lion, ol. Kite, k. Now when we hear the k sound, remember we put k, comma, c. Okay, because both the k and the c are going to make the k sound sometimes. Okay. Jar, j. Hat, goat, g. Fish, dog, d. Cat, k. I'm just going to go ahead and write this C with the K back. Balloon, b. Mm. 
unicorn U. Remember, that's the long sound. And we put a macron on it. Umbrella U, uh, short sound for U, we put a breathe. Overalls O, long sound, macron. Octopus A, uh, short sound, breathe. Icicle I, long sound, macron. Inch I, short sound, equal E. Elephant E. Eh. Acorn A. Eh. And today I had, didn't have enough spaces, so I must have not had to write that Z right there. Apple A. Ah. Okay, so that's okay. We'll just write it right here. There we go. All right. Now turn your papers over to review words. You're going to write down the first review word is clip. C L I P. Number 2, felt. F E L T. And number three, lost. L O S T. Okay. Number four for your sight words, today. T O D A Y. Number five, tomorrow. T O M O R R O W. Okay. T O M O R R O W. Number six, together. T O D E. T H E R. Some of you might already know this, but a trick to spell together. If you see there's three words in this in this word, to get her. Okay? So that's one way I think about how to spell it. To get her. And you put them all together and you get the word together. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and start our lesson. I have a word written on my whiteboard. Okay, and if you would like to follow along on your whiteboards, you may. You can write these words down, okay, as we do them. How many vowels does this word have? Remember what vowels are? A, E, I, O, and U. Okay, so how many vowels does this word have? That's right, they have two, or this one has two. What are they? Okay, we got the A is a vowel, and the I is a vowel. Did you see what I put under those words, or those letters? I put a V. V stands for vowel, okay? Who remembers what a syllable is? Remember syllables? You pop those fingers, okay? Like elephant. Elephant has three syllables. Okay, so let's um, remember what a syllable is. A syllable is a word part containing one vowel sound. Okay, when we have a word with, one, with more than one vowel sound, it tells us that the word contains more than one syllable. Whenever we have a word that contains more than one syllable, we must divide the word, or we must divide 
the vowels into syllables before we can code the word. To do this, we're going to write the small b underneath each vowel. Okay? This is the beginning of a vowel pattern. A vowel pattern is a pattern of letters in a word that begins and ends with a vowel. There are no vowels between the vowels that begin and end the pattern. So let's look at this vowel pattern. Okay, so after we look at the vowels, there's no vowels in between these two vowels, okay? It's at the beginning and the end. We will look between the vowels and see how many consonants there are. Let's write a small c under each consonant between two vowels. So this f is a consonant and this f is a consonant. Now we have a vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel pattern, or we can call this a VCCV pattern. When we have a VCCV pattern, the best place to divide the word is in between the two consonants. Okay, so we're going to divide it. That means separating it with a line. So in between the two consonants is where I'm dividing this word. Okay. This line is called a division line. It shows us where the syllables are in the word. This word has two syllables. When a word has more than one syllable, we put an accent mark on one of the syllables to show which syllable, syllable is accented. Remember, an accent is part of a word that is longer, louder, and higher. Okay, I'm not too worried about the accents of the word. Sometimes it's difficult to um, hear which part is accented. But we'll still talk about it, but I'm not, if you don't have the accent in the right, in the correct spot, then we're not. It's okay. The best place to try to accent on an unknown word is on the first syllable. So when you put an accent somewhere, you want to try the first syllable first. Okay? So let's put the accent mark on the first syllable of this word. One important thing to remember when coding words is that we always code vowels within syllables. So let, look at the letter A. Is it followed by a consonant in the syllable? When a vowel is followed by a consonant, we code it with a breathe. Okay, look at the letter I. Is the I followed by a consonant? That's correct. That means we code it with a breathe. Okay, so after you figure out if it's a, a macron or a breve, then you continue to code the word, okay? Do we need any other codings in this word? Yes, we do. So yes, we need a K back on the C. Okay. Who can read this word now? So if you, if you sound it out, we have a blend right here. We've talked about blends. T-R blend. Tr. A. Ick. Okay. Traffic. Okay. And remember, we don't say the double F, the twin consonants, twice. We say, it, well, we say that sound one time. So that's right. So does this sound like a word you know? So if I pronounce this word and I say traffic, well, that's a word I'm familiar with. Now, if I coded this incorrectly and I put a macron, this would say traffic. Traffic? Traffic? Have I ever heard of a traffic before? No, that doesn't sound familiar. So I'm going to change the way I say this, and I'm going to try the short vowel sound, and it will say traffic, traffic. Okay, so when you're sounding out words, after you code it, sound it out, and if it doesn't sound correct, change the sound of the letters, and then try it again. Okay.
All right, so our new spelling, our new rule, actually this is a new pattern that we haven't seen before. This is the syllable division pattern, the VCCV pattern. As in the word napkin, we got a vowel here, vowel here, VCCV. We know it has the, uh, two vowels, and we divide it in between the two consonants. Napkin, two vowels. Inject. Respecting, okay? But actually, ing is a suffix. So we're not going to talk about that yet. But in this word, respect has two vowels. April has two vowels. And we'll get to these two later on in our lessons, okay? Because they're not, if you notice, they're not divided in between the two consonants. But we'll, we'll look at that later to see why. But number one and number two are divided in between the two consonants. Okay. And this is how to divide and label a word. You have the VCCV pattern, and it takes you by each step. We have two vowels, then we label the two consonants, then we put the division line. Mark the accent, and then code the two vowels depending on if they're going to be a short sound or a long sound. So this is the card on how to use those. If we go to our student spelling dictionary, and we open up to the table of contents to figure out where the syllable division rules are. On page 62, we'll go all the way to the back. And here is the two rules that I just showed you. Okay, so you have everything in this book. Okay, so make sure you go and you look at your rules when you're trying to spell words. All right, so let's go back to our high-frequency word page. Go to new words. And number seven, repeat after me, basket. B A S K E T. Number eight, contest. C O N T E S T. Number nine, admit. A, whoops, sorry. Admit. A D M I T. Okay, so if you notice in each of these words, they have two vowels. They all follow the VCCV pattern. Okay, so I know I can put the VCCV and I know where to divide all of these words at, right? In the middle of each consonant. Okay, once again, high frequency word box. Make sure you study and spell these words. This is for your benefit um, so you can get better at reading and spelling. Going over to our worksheet, we are going to go ahead and code these words. Coding is to help you learn how to say the word. So sometimes you already know how to say the word, so it's kind of easy to code it. But sometimes, excuse me, you don't know how to say the word. So you need to code it. So first, I'm looking for my vowels. 
here's a vowel, here's a vowel. Then I'm going to put my two consonants. Well, I know where the division line goes now, right in the middle. Is my vowel followed by a consonant? You code it with a breathe. My vowel is followed by a consonant. I code it with a breathe. I have a C right here, so I'm going to put the K back. When a C is found at the end of a word, it's usually going to make the K sound, okay? So we learned about blends. Here's a blend right here. So I know PL makes the pull sound. So pull, ah, plastic, plastic. Second word, my vowel, my vowel. Here are my two consonants. Division line right in between them. My vowel is followed by a consonant. I code it with a breathe. This vowel is also followed by a consonant, so I code it with the breathe. Any other codings? Nope. So now I can say this word. S uh d in sudden. Sudden. Okay, once again, my vowel, my vowel, my two consonants. Division line, my vowel is followed by a consonant, I code it with a breathe. And this vowel is followed by a consonant, so I code it with a breathe. Er, a, bit, rabbit, rabbit. Vowel, vowel, consonant consonant, division line. My vowel is followed by a consonant, I code it with a breathe. This vowel is also followed by a consonant, so I code it with a breathe. Any other codings? That's right. No more. So now I can say it. M, ap, kin. M, m ap, kin. Napkin. Vowel, consonant, consonant. Vowel. Oh, here's a C. Remember our rule about when a C is, when there's a consonant after a C, you code it with a K back because it's going to sound like the K sound. Okay, now let's look our, oh, what did I forget? That's right, our division line in between the two consonants. This O is followed by a consonant, so the vowel is followed by a consonant, I breathe. This vowel is followed by a consonant, I code it with a breathe. Oh, here is another C. So when a C is followed by an O, we put a K back, that is right. Now I should be able to say this word. K on act con -t act contact contact here are two pictures to match this arrow is pointing to the that's right the napkin and this is a rabbit on the back you're going to do the same thing okay if you forget how to do the VCCV pattern, open it up to, open up your reference guide, and this is how to label and divide, follow the steps, one, two, three, four, five, okay, also here are some examples over here, so use your dictionary if you forget, or go to the front and remember how we did it here. All right, that's it for today. Thank you.